Hey guys, Eastern Shore Native here with you today. I am in at Todd's Chapel in Greenwood, Delaware. I am on it's on it, it intersects on Todd's Chapel Road and Route 16, which is Hickman Road. I am gonna be walking through, go, uh, I should say, going around the church. Uh, the church is locked, and we're gonna take a look at some of the older grave sites here while we're here. I have never been inside of this church. Uh, the, as I said a while ago, the doors are locked, so we're going to check out what we can. Here we got a plaque here. We're going to get some information here. Todd's Chapel United Methodist Church. Now everybody local just calls it Todd's Chapel. Um, I was reading on the origins of it a little bit online too, and it you know kind of confirms everything here. The uh, this building here was actually constructed in 1858. There was another structure here before, uh, so this can trace its origins back. It says back to the American Revolution, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, as the plaque uh, tells us, Francis Asbury and Freeborn Garrison traveled through this area, organizing groups and societies for worship. If you don't know anything about them, that's a big deal. Uh, they would have never been in this actual structure because it would have been built long after they went through. But it's very possible they were on the in the original structure on this property. So that's, that's a big deal. As they went around planting churches and organizing things. If you know anything about the history of that, that that's pretty cool. They do have a more modern glass door on here, but you can't see in here because... It goes to each side. It, as you go straight in, you can see here, uh, right there, but you can see to the side there. You can see the wooden pews there on that side, and you got an entrance on this side here. I don't know if it's the glare's picking it up or not. Okay. I think you might have got more of me in that. And then the, <laughs> the thing. This addition here, it says, was added on a little later. I'm assuming this to be the Sunday school rooms they were referring to back there. I think that's pretty cool. It's kind of in an open area here, and you get a lot of breeze. It's just, uh, it's just completely open fields around it. Right this time of year, there's no crops in the fields or anything, so you just get the breeze come across. I imagine summertime be very nice out here, catch the breeze then. But walk around here to the graveyards here. Got a look like got an old picnic table here. Trees kind of low, low hanging here. I did a quick walk through before I started the video a while ago. You can see uh, some older graves here. They're very hard to read. Uh, I think a lot of these were children's graves. And the way the mound sits here, I would imagine there are several others in here, but I I can't uh, prove that. I'm gonna go around here, here to the back side of the, of the church here. I'll give you a view of that as I get around here. You can see the back side here. You see the back side of the Sunday school rooms and the back side of the church here. You can see the it's got stained glass windows in it, so I can't put the camera up there to see inside. You can't see. Sounds like the heat's running. Today, it's about 50 degrees today. Just a light breeze. Uh, recording of this video is March 25th, 2023. I had walked through a while ago. I always find it interesting that wherever I go, I look at some of the names, and if I'm familiar with the area, that I'll still see a lot of these same names in the general area. And that's what I'm seeing here as well. This one here, you can't really read it. It's Mary something. Oh, but I see the on the top hands here of a fellowship I always find that interesting on some of the older stones a lot of that you don't just don't see anymore and on some of the older stones there was one back there maybe I can find it again I see this I've seen it on some of my other videos here you can see 
it looks like some type of a tree. I've had people make comments on that. Maybe somebody would know what type of tree that that was put on, on a lot of these older stones. Here, small obelisk here. Obviously this stone up here caught my attention. Looks like the center is right out of it. I got looking at it. Obviously you can see it looks like it's fallen over in the past and somebody has set it back up. You can see they've glued it together some kind of way and I guess part of the center was missing. Um, see the hands on that one as well as our, it says our mother on the top, Elizabeth. I'm going to take that for a middle initial to be P and then short. I'm not real positive on that. Something like that's always going to catch your attention. Anyway, it does mine. And, uh, oh, I, I was looking at this uh, stone here. It's a K-Hall family, which is still a, it's a local name. There's a lot of those in the general area. Here, you can see no writing on the back. But uh, the K Hall family, this must have been like the great grandparents or what have you, because I found a lot of the other ones out here buried. And just by the dates, so I'm going to make assumptions. I didn't go online and look up on anything on Ancestry or Pond Degree or anything. I'm going to take, as just far as the dates lining up in the last name, I'm going to take this to be their son, the ones in the stone just the previous, and that was his wife. Looks like they had several children die at a very young age here on this sin as, as I work our way through. Uh, this one only being about 23 doesn't give us a month or anything. But it looks like I'm going to assume that these are the two, only two children that they had to, they grew into adults. That's pretty sad. That had to be pretty rough in the time. Children do die today, but it's not like it was back then. It just, it was so much more. There was so much more to it and just, it had to be hard on the families. Um, here's another name here. Let me bring that up. David Bullock. There's a lot of those, that name in this area, general area within a 50 mile radius. You'll see that name quite a bit. Here's another stone here. This is the back of it. Obviously, it looks like it's fallen over and somebody has glued it back together of some sort. I don't know what they've used. It's an older repair. I don't know what they used there. A lot of the stones here. Walk out here just a bit. I, like I said, I just did a quick walkthrough, so I'm not even familiar with some of these. This one did grab my attention earlier here because I see the flag and recognizing him as a veteran. But uh, I couldn't quite figure out. I couldn't obviously couldn't read that. It's very rusty. That's a very old marker there. It says our mother, Elizabeth, wife of Samuel Fisher. She died in 1880 and she was aged... 80 years and 10 months and six days, if I'm reading that correctly. Well, as I was reading that, I was trying, I wonder if she served, because it's in front of her stone, what war would she have served in? As she was born in 1800, roughly, the War of 1812, she wouldn't have been old enough. The Civil War, she would have been in her 60s. So I'm not real sure what war she would have served in. And this would would have been her husband here, Samuel. Died, looks like, just a few months or so afterwards. Aged 88 years old and four months, six days as well. I don't know. Maybe somebody, there's something I'm missing. Maybe somebody, I don't know what war she would have possibly served in. There it is. You can see the flag and the marker. It's just I can't tell what that is. Maybe somebody else knows. Maybe you can make a comment on that if you can know what that is. 
Kuhneman, a lot named in this area. I have to come back another day sometime, maybe when they're having service, and see if I can get a video of the inside. That's some, looks like some snoor stones down that way. Lucas. Wife of George H. Lucas. Uh, I did see this one earlier. I just like this the stone. It's just kind of unusual to me with the way that is. Somebody put a lot of time and effort when they made that stone to, to do that. There's an older stone here. For some reason, I don't remember seeing that a while ago. That's another one. As we try to figure out the name on here, just a moment. You see the very top of it. There, somebody took a lot of time to do that. You can see it's kind of faded really bad, but you can see some of the carvings on it, the original carvings. Even though you can't really see much of them now. Who are we looking at here? Samuel Moser, 1862, 1925, and Eva B., his wife, 1857, 1925. Some newer stone though. Go over here to some of these older ones. See what we have here. I didn't cover some of these, so I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. Uh, once again, you'll see the on this older stone, you see the hands there, the fellowship. I'm assuming that's what it means. I just think some of the older stones, the way the detail of them is just the way they really took their time. Oh, here's one I wanted to point out. As I said earlier, you can see this one a little better. I think it's been in the sun more. It's a Mary J. I don't know exactly. Is it Dolan Hall? I'm not sure how. I'm not sure. I can't read it clearly. Maybe it's coming in better on the camera. But uh, once again, the, the etching on the top, right there, it's some type of a tree. I've had a lot of people say different, have different ideas. Um, maybe if somebody actually knows, that would be pretty cool if somebody did know that, what that exactly, what kind of tree that is. I don't know if it represents a tree of life, a weeping willow, or what exactly it is. That would be real cool if somebody knew. daughter of William and Sophie Collison. She's about five years old. Another stone, the stone work on the top of this. Isn't that cool? It took a lot of time. A lot of effort to do that. Yeah, it looks like there's a whole family on here. William Collison, I guess he would be the patriarch of the family, 1821-1901. Robert J., son of William and Sophie. Died 1889, 26 years of age. I don't, I can't, I can't read the epitaph. You can see there was an epitaph there. I cannot read that. I don't know if it was coming out or not. And finally, Sophie, wife of William Collison, died 
1384, age 62 years old. And you can see there's several smaller stones here. I'm assuming to be children. That's just the way they did it back then. Much different than how we do it now. piece at her side and yes, came off on the top there con on the right hand side of the angle I'm standing at as I'm standing on the back right hand corner of the church all right guys that'll do it for today if you like this video like and subscribe and I'll try to get some more content on all right take care bye